say hi guys welcome back to my mom's channel I guess the kids or step kids of one of the people like went to a concert I'm sorry but like my parent was like on a sh submarine and they were like lost at sea I'd be like that's crazy so that was weird which leads me to believe that he had something to do with it I don't know I am now I'm at the Starbucks right now I'm like pulling in <gasps> I really hope this video is like not dark I just don't know how to like fix lighting unless I just like have it in my face. I don't really have any right now. Oh my gosh, I really thought this video was going to be filled with so many things. You know who I'm obsessed with right now? Nessa Barrett. Her new songs are so good. I'm so obsessed with her lately. Oh, you know what else? Kourtney Kardashian pregnant. I love it actually. I thought it was really cute how she announced it and I am like happy for her. She really wanted a baby apparently and she has one. And the fact that she's having it, like, I love that. I don't want to say, like, I don't like surrogacy, but, like, I understand why people do it. But for me, personally, I could never do it because I loved my pregnancy so much that it wasn't 
like even a thought to me to do that. I, I love being pregnant. But anyways, I think she's like 44, in her 40s definitely. I wonder if there's risks. There's probably risk for that, to be like that age and like having babies, like because that's like a little late. I mean, not too late, but I don't know. I wonder what her kids are. Also, like what do you do like when you have like a million dollar house? Like do you just build, build another room or do you have to like take away a room like i always wonder how these like famous people have kids they probably have like so many rooms and then they're like oh this would be like a good nursery because for me i would i would be like i need a plan what exactly room if we're buying a house so let me go get me a drink i got my starbucks i got a mango dragon fruit refresher with lemonade because with lemonade like i feel like it's the perfect balance of like sweet and like zesty um, because some mornings I just don't care for the whole, you know, coffee thing because coffee literally makes me sick to my stomach But I love like the energy it gives me when I'm like not feeling a coffee I get this drink and it's like the perfect You can also make it at home. I don't know if anyone knows this, but if you get cranberry oh it's like cranberry juice but if it's strawberry and then you mix it with water or lemonade it literally tastes pretty similar it's not as strong but it's pretty similar also you know what i was thinking unpopular opinion i think tiktok is dying and we're all just waiting for the next app that's what i think because youtube is basically dead sad to say instagram i don't know if it's just me the likes just aren't there anymore and I'm, I'm like literally posting the same exact content yeah so instagram's dead twitter has been in the graveyard since before time i'm pretty sure people still use uh snapchat i don't have snapchat anymore facebook's just for family but tiktok i feel like i get on there and i'm just like scrolling like same stuff people dancing or like really aesthetic you know pleasing videos of people editing their stuff which takes hours or it's Alex Earl Alex Earl also let's talk about Alex Earl in a second yeah TikTok to me is dying I feel like I'm stuck at like the 200 300 500 range well one of my videos just got 80 but 80k but yeah I feel like it is just I feel like in general social media right now is so boring that there has to be a scandal there has to be drama soon there has to be something among the celebrities that just has to like come out because everyone's bored like i think the submarine thing for the drama aspect of it was there but i don't know i think there needs to be a scandal soon which leads me into alex earl apparently she has a new boyfriend i guess i don't really follow her but like it's on my tiktok so like i listen but apparently apparently some girl named sophia was dating this one guy with alex's boyfriend now but apparently the sophia and this braxton brandon guy i don't really know they were dating and then he met alex and then they started dating which to me is like that's disgusting like i guess they were together for like three years this other girl and him and then he just like saw her and like fell in love i don't know that's kind of weird to me like how can you be in a relationship and like looking for someone else like how do you just like not feel like remorse or guilt but that's also a scandal right now happening on TikTok. She's also traveling the world. Like, that's crazy to me. She, like, started off on TikTok, and now she's just, like, traveling the world. Does that register? Like, I think now that, like, the whole Charlie and, like, that whole group is so out of touch with, like, normal life, it's crazy. Even though they came from normal life. Does that make sense? Like, Alex Earl, I feel like... I feel like she's still living her normal life, but she's just like going on trips and getting grand deals. Good for her, you know, I wish I could do that, but that's crazy to me. Should I talk about like my life? Nothing's really crazy happening. We have really exciting news to tell you guys like pretty, pretty soon me and Sam do and like really, really, really crazy. So that's coming up soon. I am still going to therapy, which has been like really nice. I love therapy. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's so funny because I have therapy on Tuesdays, like every other Tuesday, but now he's switching me to one month or once a month. But I always get Chipotle and it's so funny because I had like so much to tell him because I missed my last session with him because I, I was doing something. And I was like, oh, you're gonna like die, like grab a Starbucks. And he's like, oh, like pooping my pants, like all this stuff. And he was like, I should've got Chipotle. And I was like, ah, 
I'm eating Chipotle now. Like, it's so nice talking to someone who, like, literally, this guy's, like, staring at me. It literally is so nice talking to someone that, like, gets me and has the same humor as me but is also like professional that's really nice but i love therapy i think it's like the best thing i've ever done for myself and it's helped me a lot recognize the unhealthy behaviors that i have that i didn't think that i was doing but yeah therapy is going really really well i love it i'm still studying for my real estate course so i went to go take it but i i don't even know the system glitched i don't know they rescheduled me so I have that in July to take. We have our trip to Maine we're gonna do. So I'm going to film as much as I can there. I'm so excited for this next chapter of my life. You guys have no idea. Um, I'm still going to stay consistent on YouTube and try and grow and basically I've been doing what I have been doing. I'm so happy we reached 4,052 followers that's crazy like that's like really crazy to me and i'm so happy about it because i have been like taking my social media so seriously for like the past couple of years but like i feel like i've been like extremely consistent on youtube lately which has been so great for me and i love it and i love sharing you know arabella's life also it's so nice to like look back on arabella being so little like the fact that i have all of those videos of her so little and like the days we used to have together like i am so happy i have that you guys have no idea so that's really the main purpose of why i have my youtube channel now it's just like as a lookbook back on like the way I was thinking, the way I was, how young I used to be. Like I used to, I started my YouTube channel in 2017. I had other YouTube channels before that and obviously none of them like stuck. I used to be in another like collab channel with other creators. That's like another story for another time, but I'm doing YouTube since 2017 I've had my periods where I've been like extremely consistent like killing it like giving it my all and then I've been like MIA for months or like I'll post like once a month which isn't good obviously but yeah I'm super happy in this stage of my life I feel like everything is turning around the way I want it want it to be and I'm just so excited for everything that's coming up and everything that's going to happen. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. I think I'm going to end the video here. But thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.